what smoking weed did to my acne. And not a lot of people know this. A lot of people just smoke weed to smoke weed to think that they're cool or whatever. And they also just smoke um, lavas and all of those, you know, jewel pens, everything like that. Just to show that they're cool or just in general, right? Like they smoke to smoke. And for me, I was a huge smoker. I would smoke at least three times a day, at least like three blunts a day. If not, if I wasn't getting that, then I would smoke at least two to three times or hit the bong a couple times throughout the day, you know. At, for the most part, it was at least two to three, four times a day plus if I'm around with my friends, I'll smoke with them, you know, things like that. And I know this is one very particular thing, right? Because I started to smoke the 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 lava pens and all, the jewel pens and all of that shit, right? I used to smoke in my room and everything like that, chilling, you know, watching movies, whatever, right? Just normal, degenerate bot shit. Just like, you know, regular human being shit, whatever. What people nowadays would call a regular person, I was doing that shit. So I'd just be smoking, watching shows, whatever. Then I'd go to the bathroom to go, you know, use the bathroom, take a piss, whatever it is, right? So after I'm done taking a piss, whatever, right, I'm washing my hands, I look into the mirror. And when I look into the mirror, right, I'd have pimples, right? But they're going away. Before before I smoked, they'll be going away. But after I smoke and I'm completely, like, fried, like, I'm fucking, I'm fucking blazed and, like, wasted, right? I'm fucking fried, whatever, right? Look into the mirror and my pimples will start to have white heads and start to have the yellow pus forming into them and i'm like what the fuck like why is this happening all the time like why every single time i smoke is this happening for me personally it was smoking weed that was really doing it to me right whether it was weed with the wraps i was using i was using backwoods or i would use joints it, it didn't matter which roll up i used i was getting i would just get like pimples that start to grow like for instance if i had this pimple right here and it's super little i'd smoke it would have a white head on out of it like it would have like pus forming and i'm like what the fuck like i've never realized this until like later on until like i'm smoking so much but it happened every single time i smoked whether it was a bong rip whether it was a, a pen hit whether it was i was smoking a blunt whatever it was i realized my face will start to break out right and i started to do my research on this because i'm like hold on this is a little weird when you're smoking your pores start to open so when your pores start to open up that leads for bacteria and all types of things that, you know, can go into your skin, whether, you know, you're smoking and, you know, whatever, you're done smoking, then you just, like, wipe your head or wipe your face or, you know, just, like, something like that. I remember even just washing my face, then I'll smoke, and I'm like, what the fuck is, like, going on my face? Like, my face is supposed to be dry, and I have moisturizer to put on my face, but after I'm done smoking, I would go to the bathroom, I swear, I would see, like, whiteheads, right? I could post a couple pictures of just, like, how it started to form on my face, I'm like... Wait, like, what the fuck? Like, I post a picture where, like, I'm actually fucking fried. Like, you could see it in my face, but you could see the little white heads on my face. And I'm like, hold on, is this because of the pens, or is it from, like, the bong, or is it just me smoking weed in general? So I tried smoking a pen. I noticed it was the same thing. I'll smoke a bong, same thing. I'll smoke a blunt, the same thing, right? I'd say, at this time, I'm starting to smoke lavas. I wasn't super big on nicotine, but I would smoke that too as well. So, you know, I started to do my research, and this comes out, it came out to be that smoking in general isn't good for your skin or acne. So you have to low-key just stay away from this shit, especially if you have severe acne, right? A lot of people would disagree with what I'm saying because a lot of people literally have, like, you know, pretty good skin where they can eat as much garbage as they want or, you know, smoke as much as they want or drink as much as, as they want and, and, and do all of the bad habits, but their face won't break out. It's completely different for people who have acne and is trying to get rid of it, like, who have you know, very bad acne. I'll post some pictures from before how I looked like, bro, it's bad acne. Like, when you have this bad acne, you have to, like, really dial in on your diet. You have to watch what you're eating. To wash your pillowcases. You got to try to do everything in your might that will get rid of this acne, especially without using, like, Accutane and everything. You have to, you have to take different measures. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is how I start to look after me being on Accutane and actually stop smoking, you know, stop all the bad habits. I dialed in on my diet. I wasn't drinking sugary juices. I wasn't drinking dairy products. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't eating cheese. Like, I was so into it, right? And my skin is, like, you know, it flared up a little bit. But, like, at this time, when I was super locked in and dialed in, my skin turned, like, it turned, like, a full 360 slowly but surely, right? I stopped the smoking, right? I went on, like, a three months of, like, no smoking nicotine, no smoking weed, no nothing at all. And it completely transformed my face. Like, and I'll say, if you're smoking a lot, as much as, as I did, right? Like, a real smoker, like a like a real person who's smoking a lot of cigarettes or a lot of these uh, jewel pens, they're constantly chiefing or smoking a lot of weed. They're constantly chiefing all day, every day, right? Like, if they have, 
if if it's a real stoner, they're gonna really have bong grips on them ready. They're gonna have a dab pen. They're gonna have blunts rolled up ready. And the same thing for people with nicotine. They're gonna have the cigarette packs ready. They're gonna have the jewel pens, the lava pens, all of that shit ready. If you completely cut this out, your face will start to change a little bit more. Like it will get a little bit better, especially when you dial into your diet too. The diet is like the biggest thing. But like if you're gonna add smoking and all the bad habits on that. If you ha already have a bad habit and you're adding the smoking, the drinking, all the bad habits on top of that, your face is only going to get worse, right? So if you dial in on both things, no smoking, no drinking, no bullshit, no eating garbage, no no processed foods, all of this, and you really start getting your nutritional foods in and, you know, being healthy, your face will start, your body will show in general by your energy levels, how you feel. You'll feel much more better. You won't feel lethargic after eating all of these bad foods. You'll feel much more better from eating natural foods and everything like that in your body. You know, a lot of smokers can't like if I go play basketball with one of my smoker friends, bro, by one game, they're done. Like one game up to 12, they're, they're fucking tired, you know, and I was in that. I was in that phase too where I would be so tired. I'll be so tired because I smoke so much. But when I completely cut it out, bro, I'll be able to go five six games without being tired you know like just playing non-stop back to back and you know like since i completely stopped smoking i would compare that to my smoker friends they'll play like one or two games i'm telling you it's like it's like they're dripping with sweat like it's like they'll be done after that like it's over it's game time it's like they're dripping with sweat as if they ran like a hundred mile marathon or some shit i'm like damn hard breathing like like they're about to die i'm like what the fuck we just played like two games right there's nothing but benefits from stop smoking or at least cutting it and you know maintaining a healthy diet you're not gonna you're only gonna see benefits from this you're not gonna have anything negative from it you're just gonna get nutrition the nutritional value that you should have in your everyday life so like i said like this is how i transformed how i look bro i stopped smoking and this is how i look bro i started to look way better i started feeling better i started to feel more healthy right the biggest thing about acne in general is your diet you have to watch what you eat and i'll, I'll make a separate video on that but you know that's why i wanted to make this a short little video of like what weed and smoking what smoking weed and smoking nicotine pens did to my face in general so stay yourself stay 300 whatever you do in life trust me i believe you bro